Hey guys, welcome to Lawler Bricks, and today we've added some minifigures to the minifigure wall behind us. We actually went to a bunch of different hobby shops around, and we picked out some minifigures that go really well on the wall. So let's go tour exactly what minifigures we got, and we got a Lego set that surprised even us. So don't forget to stay until the end of the video to see it. So let's start off with some Pixar. We actually got three Incredibles minifigures to talk about. Our first character from the Incredibles lineup is going to be Syndrome. Syndrome is actually a pretty sweet looking minifigure. Um, he comes with the awesome orange hair uh, and of course his, uh, his mech poster as well. Uh, definitely one of the most important minifigures for sure to pick up from this uh, Incredibles lineup. So we're excited to put it on the minifigure wall. Next up is probably the most important character and that is Mr. Incredible. This Mr. Incredible is actually interesting because it comes with this doing our part poster, which I don't think the original uh, Mr. Incredible actually came with. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in addition to that, of course, he has his uh, incredible super suit on and the awesome hair as well. So definitely one of the best figures that we could have picked up for this lineup. Our last character for the Incredibles lineup is gonna be Edna Mode. This was Ashley's number one pick for definitely the best character and best minifigure out of the Incredibles that we got. Uh, so we had to pick her up. Uh, she comes with her little coffee cup and it's actually interesting. If I pull off her hair, she actually comes with a regular head, but also, the eyes are attached to the head, which is kind of crazy. I haven't really seen this before uh, in a minifigure. So that's pretty cool. So we have a couple more from the Pixar lineup that aren't from Incredibles, and they are just a couple random minifigures that are our personal favorite characters that we wanted to put on the wall behind us. Uh, and the first one is gonna be the Toy Story alien. This guy is super cute. He comes with the three eyes and also the cute little looking antenna, uh, as well as the child-sized legs, which are pretty cool. I love how cute he looks in his little space suit as well. I guess that technically this next one isn't Pixar, but it's still Disney, and it's kind of separate from the rest of the minifigures that we got as well. And this next one is Olaf. This minifigure is completely adorable. Not only does his nose, which is a carrot, actually comes off, um, but he actually has tiny little miniature legs uh, that fit on studs pretty nicely as well, sort of like regular minifigures. When I saw this originally, I was like, well, wait, how are we going to fit this on the minifigure wall? Because it has the studs, um, but that kind of solved its own problem. It also comes with these very large arms. Um, they're, they're kind of supersized arms as well. They're extra long uh, for his little twig arms. All right, let's move on to Star Wars. Now we got a couple key figures uh, that are gonna enhance our Star Wars minifigure lineup behind me. Um, and I think that you guys are gonna enjoy them as well. The first figure we're gonna talk about is Kylo Ren. This is honestly one of my absolute favorite characters from this lineup as the helmet is so awesome. It actually comes with the cracks in the helmet as well as we were able to find um, the lightsaber that was actually sold separately, but we got it just for him um, because his lightsaber is definitely a one of a kind for sure. Next minifigure, of course, if you're getting Kylo Ren, you have to get Captain Phasma. This is one of the more expensive minifigures that we got, um, but it's definitely worth it in terms of its quality as well as it has this interesting uh, cape as well that is definitely unique, uh, one of the most unique capes that I've seen as a matter of fact. Other than that, she's probably gonna go right next to Kylo Ren on the minifigure wall. Now, we got this next figure because it's kind of a meme, and that's gonna be Jar Jar Binks. And we even got this pink lightsaber to go with him because, of course, everybody knows that Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord. Why not just give him a pink lightsaber? I don't think anyone's ever actually had a pink lightsaber before. So anyways, Jar Jar Binks, definitely a cool character. Uh, he's even got the ears attached to his minifigure. So it's gonna be one that we can display very nicely on the wall. 100% the cutest minifigure of probably all of them that we got today is gonna be this next one. I was actually so surprised when this little Grogu was actually 12 whole dollars uh, at the store that we went to. Now, I looked it up later, it is worth a little bit less than that, but I found it really funny that it's literally the smallest minifigure that we got and definitely 
one of the more expensive ones as well. All right, let's move on to Marvel, and we have a ton of new figures. Our Marvel line behind me is actually one of the uh, more fleshed out lineups that we have, but we don't have most of the characters. Marvel has so many characters, so we wanted to get more in order to try and complete our lineup. This first minifigure is sort of a Marvel classic, and it's gonna be Thor. Uh, Thor is definitely one of the cooler minifigures. He's got his, uh, his armor on, of course, and uh, his cape is actually made out of this newer uh, felt material as well, and he comes with his hammer, so definitely a cool minifigure. Now, if we were gonna get Thor, there was gonna be a couple other minifigures that we absolutely had to get with him. So our next minifigure is gonna be Korg. Korg is just one of those characters that is absolutely adorable, and you have to have if you're getting Thor. Uh, he comes with his little headphones. It looks like he's wearing his beach outfit as well, um, so definitely one of the coolest minifigures and chillest by far. The other minifigure that we absolutely had to get if we were getting Thor was going to be Hela. And this minifigure is one of my favorite minifigures by far of the ones that we got today. Her crown is just absolutely insane in person and she even comes with the sword and her suit and everything and look at that miniature face is growling as well. Uh, we picked her up for $45 so not the cheapest minifigure for sure um, but definitely one that we absolutely needed to have with Thor. So we have Iron Man, we have Doctor Strange, and both of those are behind us. We just got Thor, so we needed one of the other Avengers, and that is going to be Captain America. There was actually an older version of this Captain America that we could have gotten as well, um, and that was the one with the blue top and no hair, uh, as if he's wearing his helmet, but I actually liked this more modern version a little bit better. Uh, so we ended up getting the one with the hair, and he, of course, he does come with his Captain America shield. Um, but definitely going to be a great addition to go with the other Marvel minifigures. Now, we have a bunch of the core Marvel minifigures now, and we wanted to expand outward to Guardians of the Galaxy. Definitely one of the funniest shows, and honestly has some of the best characters as well. Our Guardians of the Galaxy collection really couldn't even start without this first character, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill, Star-Lord. This is a super cool figure. Uh, nothing really special about him in general, aside from uh, his blasters, which I would say are definitely the best Lego designed blasters I think I've ever seen. Um, I don't really care for the Star Wars blasters, to be honest, um, but these Guardians of the Galaxy ones, man, they look super cool. Um, other than that, he does look like the character, and I love to have a figure that actually represents one of the greatest characters in Guardians of the Galaxy. And of course, we had to start expanding our Guardians of the Galaxy lineup with this next figure. So there aren't a lot of versions of Groot that have actually been made, and this one is specifically Teen Groot. Um, so this is the one after he technically dies, after he grows out of the pot, and now this is the one that uh, is really disrespectful and plays video games. So we saw a couple of Thanos figures, uh, but we actually didn't pick them up. What we were more interested in are his two daughters. So these next two that we have are gonna be Nebula and Gamora. Um, they're both different versions though. So this first one, which is Gamora, is actually uh, her original version and the Nebula is actually from Avengers Endgame. So both of them are super cool minifigures. We actually weren't able to find um, the same versions, which is why we got the two separate ones, but still great representations of each character. And honestly, looking through the lists of the two characters, I, I think that we probably got the best versions of each of these characters as well. So our last two minifigures are from the DC lineup, and they are, of course, Batman and the Joker. Uh, unfortunately, again, we couldn't find two matching versions from the same set, so we ended up getting uh, these two super cool Batman and Jokers. This Batman is actually actually interesting because there are so many different versions of Batman, specifically this one, that there's only some minor differences between them, so we had to research a little bit to see actually how much this one was worth. And this Joker comes from the Batmobile Classic, 
Um, the small version that's like the $30 set that is basically in every single video that we film as a haul. Um, but we actually haven't opened any of those sets, so we wanted the minifigure just by itself. Congratulations on making it this far into the video. We now have a surprise for you. Uh, we actually stopped at the Lego store when we were stopping at all of these hobby shops to pick up these minifigures, and we ended up picking up one of probably our favorite sets of all time. But first, we actually ended up getting this. It's this little Paul bag the pirates and treasure vip pack and it's actually super cool it comes with um our, probably our favorite thing in it is actually uh this I, I don't know if you guys can see it but it comes with a little parrot uh and this parrot is actually worth like 12 dollars or something crazy like that um which is actually pretty sweet because they're like almost impossible to find you have to order them off a of brick link it's actually super cool that we just got the parrot because parrots okay grand finale Ugh. Oh, this is the Hogwarts castle in a damaged box. So this is actually going to be the one that we open. We have a sealed one that we had before, but it's a pretty pristine box. So we're actually going to keep uh, that one sealed and open this one because Ashley absolutely wants to build this thing. Um, and it's an absolutely giant build. Uh, in addition to that, we got $50 in VIP points back because uh, the box is... It's actually not terrible, to be honest. Um, it just has like a bunch on the bottom and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, we also used about $200 in VIP points to get this thing. So it only ended up costing like $200 in total, which is pretty sweet considering this set just went up to like $470 or something outrageous like that. All right, guys, I did want to show you really fast exactly what uh, order we're putting these minifigures in. So starting off on the left here, we have Jar Jar Binks uh, and the rest of the Star Wars crew that we got, including the child and um, Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma over here on the left with the other Star Wars minifigures. Uh, now we also decided to separate Disney um, a little bit as well. So we're putting Disney on the top. We have the Incredibles minifigures, uh, the Toy Story alien, as well as Olaf. And we just kind of left spaces because they are technically uh, different Disney Pixar uh, movies. So that's what we're getting at there. Uh, we have the Cinderella Castle minifigures. And then down below, we actually started our DC uh, heroes. We don't exactly know where we're going to put the rest of the DC heroes if we get more though, uh, so we're probably going to have to just create a different section for that eventually. And then last section that we made uh, is going to be the Marvel lineup. Now this Marvel lineup is getting pretty huge, so up at the top we decided to put the Avengers uh, all together. So we have Thor, Captain America, uh, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Star-Lord, um, and then kind of going into the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have Teen Groot, Gamora, and Nebula as well. So that's pretty cool. And then the other two minifigures that we got uh, moving down are going to be Korg and Hela, which is um, just kind of miscellaneous Marvel minifigures. So that's pretty cool. This wall's getting pretty filled up and I'm actually really enjoying this. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you don't mind, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We got some new lighting and I want to know if this lighting is good for the glare behind me on the minifigure wall, as well as go ahead and let us know how the audio is. Uh, we got a new microphone as well. So Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks guys. See you next time.